Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm guessing you're all uh, new to detecting and you want to learn a few tips and tricks. I'll uh, guide you through a few pointers on uh, what to do and, and things like that. So first of all, your detector, you want to adjust your shaft. All detectors are different. Well, they're all, all they're different, but uh, same principle. Um, you want to adjust your shaft so your arm so you got your arm at full extension you don't want it too short so you are crouched over you want your arm to be straight it just helps the long also the longer the stem is the more ground you're covering because you've got a you've got a wider sweep so that's that one um, and also you don't want to be swinging the detector like that you want to keep your coil parallel to the ground like that and you want to be skimming the surface so you as you're swinging you're opening your arm up and when you're coming back round you're closing it in so you're sort of doing that if you look so yeah but you see a lot of people when you go on digs swinging like that and they're only searching probably that much in front of them because the coil's coming off the ground and also you want to make sure your coil's always parallel you see a lot of people searching like this as well and you, you just you just losing depth so that's that and you you also your walking speed you see a lot of people walking like this you don't want to be doing that you're missing you're missing signals as you're walking you want to make sure you do continuous sweeps overlapping one another covering all the ground in front of you it's no good doing this and you're just going to be missing loads of signals so let's see now if we can find a target and we'll dig we'll show you how to dig it and uh, extract it from the ground so you just want to keep the coil like I say parallel to the ground skimming the grass doing like I do one step and then another little step next to it so once you stop digging iron you'll um, start finding better a lot be more better stuff because you won't be wasting time digging iron you'll be uh, just digging the better things can't find a signal now but this is what it's like detecting sometimes you can go for ages without a signal at least it's showing you the reality oh showing you the reality of metal detecting because it's not always um well the majority of the time you don't find a great deal no i wouldn't dig that one i'd leave it That one's a lot better. Still a bit scratchy, but well, as I was saying, it's not an amazing signal. It's um, you get used to it, the um, the tone that it's giving you, like and how clear the tone is. Um, it's hard to describe, but the more you do it, the more you get used to it. But as you can see, I've gone from 90 degrees. It sounds a bit iffy that way, but it sounds slightly better this way. So you've got your signal there, it's nice and repeatable both ways. So you want to press your pinpointer, pinpointer button, 
Most detectors have got a pinpointer on them. I can't really think of one that hasn't. Maybe a few of the low end models have probably not got it. But in that case, you could just wiggle your coil like that and slowly walk backwards. And when it stops, the signal will be on the edge of the coil there. But we'll show you the pinpointer. So you press the pinpointer button, just go off the, slightly off the signal, press the pinpointer button which on the manticore is there and when it's at its loudest the signal in theory should just be just be there so our signal's just there but you don't want to be digging right on top of it you want to dig a nice plug start in there on pasture I always uh, dig a slightly bigger plug because if it's if it is something good a nice coin or whatnot you don't want to be hitting it with your spade that's the last thing you want to do after you've been searching for it for ages so you just do that dig all the way around gently lever it up and I've still got my detector in my hand and you can just get your foot behind it and push it there we've got a nice plug out so the next thing you do we check whether it's in the hole or it's in the plug so we do that by just sweeping the detector over the hole and it's giving us no signal so I'm guessing it's in the plug somewhere and there we go coming in in the 61 it was so the next thing you do is get your pointer so it's really hard trying to find the signal without a pointer uh, you, you do need one really it saves you so much time when you're in the field um, so yeah turn the pointer on just move it around the plug and we're getting a we're getting a slight signal there and it, it's right on top of it when it's, it's this one vibrates it's the mine lab uh, profile 40 but the louder it the quicker it vibrates and the quicker it um, makes a tone that's when you're the closest so as you can see I'll just turn the plug around we're just there somewhere so you don't want to just go straight on the hole where it is you just want to gently dig away from it dig around the edge and it's in here somewhere yeah you because you don't want to obviously damage it oh oh bloody i thought i thought it was on to a bit of gold then that would have been crazy uh, but no it, it does look like we're onto like just like a little rivet or something like that but i hope that helps you um when you're out in the field and i hope you find more signals and targets um but yeah just take your time nice and slow and steady and you won't go wrong you'll start finding coins and artifacts i'm not saying you'll find loads i suppose it depends how good the land is where you've got your permission but um, like I say with metal detecting the majority of time you, you hardly find anything to be honest you see a lot of these videos where loads of people are finding things but the reality is that you uh, don't really find a great deal so yeah I hope that's helped a few people out who's new to metal detecting if you'd like to like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. I uh, upload videos all the time, so any questions or anything like that, I'll uh, reply to you in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye.